Action News 36 at noon starts now. In health news now, a lot of us have a scar or two that may remind us of an accident or a surgery, but there's a new type of treatment that can rejuvenate the skin and help erase both old and new scars. We'll show you how it works in your health, and it does come in the form of a laser. Mark Epstein's getting his face checked following melanoma surgery. I'd had this mark on my face, which was considered non-cancerous uh, uh, cosmetic for many, many years. Uh, but during this year's annual, I uh, picked out and took a biopsy, found the melanoma. Even in the best surgical Doing hands, well. procedures can leave scars. Mark was enrolled in a study that helps reduce that scarring. Usually most people have reservations about treating fresh scars, and the dogma has been that you can only treat old scars or mature scars. But in this study, the laser was used to resurface brand new scars. So while you're resurfacing the scar, as it's doing its own remodeling, you're actually giving it a stimulus to remodel further and to really uh, emulate what normal skin would look like. The laser causes controlled damage to just one third of the skin's surface and also just below it at the dermis. It's at the dermis level where collagen is made. You're providing a stimulus to the collagen, you're destroying old co collagen, providing new stimulus to the skin to produce new collagen and new collagen puffs things up so it allows scars to improve. After a series of treatments, scars begin to fade. And so what we noticed in this study, in this pilot study, is that the scars that were resurfaced right at suture removal, or within two weeks of suture removal, dramatically improved after a series of five resurfacing sessions with the Frax laser. Providing whole scar improvement with a fraction of the therapy. Action News 36 has more details on that Fraxel laser you just saw. Right now, it is FDA approved for acne scar treatment, as well as wrinkle treatment around the eyes and certain skin discoloration treatments.